manhood. This is my friend, Tony. He's pretty cool, although he's not always so smart. This is my friend, Barry. He's very smart, although he's not always so cool. We were the best of friends, and we did everything together. You see, my body was about through these changes, and I was about to have these experiences, and my life was never going to be the same again. Perfection. Hair. Where it never grew before. All make me ask a lot of questions. See, I really want to talk about... I'd like to know about the... I have this question. But the biggest question of all was... Am I normal? I mean, does this happen to you? It all started when I noticed that everyone was suddenly interested in sex. And a lot of crazy stories were going around. Hey, listen to this. Jack Market of London, England, had an erection two feet long, held it there for 48 days, and three people sat on it before it finally snapped off. Is that stuff really true? Of course it's true. It uh, happened to a friend of my brother's. Come on, man. Be cool. But was it really true? Hey, Jimmy, you heard this stuff. It's true, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, man. Then I had this embarrassing thing happen to me. Hi, Jimmy. Want to go to the movies with me this weekend? What was happening to me? Sure. I guess. What you doing? Did you know? Nothing. I'm looking for my keys. I can't find my keys. Oh, can I help? Uh-oh. No. I'd rather you didn't. Okay. See you Saturday. Bye now. Bye. Hey, guys. Um, well, I was just wondering... Well, see, I got a, a heart on in the hall for no reason at all. Am I normal? I, I mean, if this happened to you. I decided to talk to a man who might have some answers. Dad? What can I do for you, son? Dad, could you tell me about sex? What's the matter, Jim? Are you, you in trouble or something? No, Dad. Well, it's just that, well, nobody in school seems to know what's going on. And I was just wondering, you know, oh, if I... You want to know about, uh, about, uh, se <clears throat> sex. <laughs> That's terrific, son. <laughs> Just between you and me, right? <laughs> man to man, father and son. You know, my father never spoke to me about that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see now. Uh, uh, men have, uh, their own baseball bat. Yeah. 
no, no, that's not it. Um, girls have uh, catcher's mitts. Uh, boys have, uh, well, they no. Am I helping you, son? Well, I don't think so, Dad. Okay, okay. Uh, let, let's do this, Jim. There's um, first base, second base. No, Dad. I mean, well, what about all these changes that are going on in my body and everything? Changes? Men just know about these things. That's all. They just know. It'll come to you. You'll see. <laughs> now, let's watch the game, huh? <laughs> He's off and running. O'Brien takes it on the second bounce. I guess he tried his best, but I was still in the dark. He's out at home. What was this? A wet, sticky spot on my bed. I had to hide the evidence. Take action. Where you going? Library. What you gonna read? Nothing. What's wrong with that guy? I knew what I had to do wasn't too cool. But I didn't have a choice. I had to find the answers out for myself. Of course, it wasn't going to be easy. Um, I want to know about the male penis. Please. Excuse me? I'd like to know about the male penis, please. <gasps> Between the ages of 11 and 15, boys go through the physical and sexual changes of puberty. Their voice is lower, <laughs> and hair begins to grow on different parts of the body. The penis gradually becomes larger and very sensitive to physical and emotional feelings. The penis is made of spongy tissue and blood vessels. Certain thoughts or feelings or sexual activities can cause these vessels to fill with blood. The penis becomes hard and erect. This is an erection. An erect penis is not a bone. It cannot snap or break off. Many different kinds of feelings can cause an erection. Often the penis will get hard for what seems like no reason at all. It can happen at any time, at any place, and can be very embarrassing. But it is normal and happens to most boys. Excuse me. Um, have you seen a boy in here? He's about that big. He's got brown hair, uh, brown pants. Yes, I think he went down there. Yeah, 
said, Jimmy, man, you've been there an awful long time. What you doing? I'm reading. Yeah, sure you're reading. I know what you're doing in there. Feeling good, huh? Come on now. You can tell old Tony boy. You better watch out. If you do too much, it's gonna fall off. They say you can grow hair on your arms. You know, leprosy. You ever hear that? It's the worst. Man, your skin's gonna peel off just like paper. For the male, masturbation is touching or stimulating his sexual organs, causing the penis to become erect. Often he will do this until the penis spurts out the milky white fluid called semen. This is ejaculation. Ejaculation is often accompanied by a special intense feeling called orgasm, after which a person feels relaxed. It is important to remember that just because you have an erection, it is not necessary to have an ejaculation. Even if you don't ejaculate, the erection will go away on its own. You may have heard stories about how masturbation is harmful, but we know today that it cannot physically hurt you no matter how often you do it. Many people of all ages, men and women, masturbate. They do it because it gives them pleasure or relaxes them. Other people may not enjoy it or find it against their principles. It is normal if you do it and also normal if you don't. Uh, you. B. talk about is wet dreams. Oh, did you have a wet dream last night? <coughs> well, it's perfectly normal for a boy your age. Let's see what it happens. A wet dream is simply an ejaculation resulting from sexual feelings while you sleep. When you ejaculate, this is what happens. Sperm, made in the testes, joins with fluid from these glands, becoming the mixture called semen. The semen then travels out the penis. While this happens, these muscles tighten up, blocking urine from coming down. That's why, when you have a wet dream, or whenever you ejaculate, no urine can come out the penis. But why does it happen when I'm asleep? Well... At your age, your body's going through a lot of changes, and many different things can cause a sexual response. A pleasant dream, or a nightmare, or well, anything. And that's a wet dream. Thank you, Mrs. Nurse. That one. I never knew they could get that long. Could you imagine if that one was human? Boy, that's what I call macho. Take a look at the size of the thing that lion's got. I heard size don't make a difference. Yeah. Of course it does. It's got to. It's only logical. Just think about it for a minute. 
Anyway, we don't have to worry. On the other hand, little Jimmy here. Hey, where'd he go? What can I do for you there, son? Well, see, I have this question. It's kind of a biological kind of thing. Shoot. Well, son, I admire your candor. You've come to the right man for the answer. Let's face it, in this job, I see a lot of penises. Animals' penises, that is. I can tell you one thing about these animals that you couldn't say about humans. They never worry about the size of the darn thing. One's as good as another, just like noses. But then why do people make jokes about it? Well, you know, people are funny. Sometimes they try to make other folks feel small so they can feel big inside. Heck, fact is, being big or having big feet or big anything just has nothing to do with what kind of man you are. Where have you been? Learning. Learning what? About my body. About the penis. About your what? Can you believe this? What has gotten into you? You used to be one cool dude, you know? I mean, I can dig wanting to know about girls and stuff. It's your own body. I mean, that is weird, man. Who wants to know about that? I do. Look, guys. It's like this. I thought I was a pretty cool guy and all. And... And then... Well, then my body started acting crazy on me. And I had a hunch that it had to do with sex and stuff like that. But, well, like, how can I still be cool on the outside? When on the inside, I mean, I didn't even know if I was normal or anything. And I knew if I asked Tony over here, if those things had ever happened to him, he took just what he's doing now. He'd laugh. So, I had to find out if these things were normal by myself. Well, when Susie asked me out, I got an erection and we hadn't even touched. Turns out, it's normal. Then, after you made those cracks about masturbation, I looked that up. And it turns out that if you do it or if you don't, it's normal. There's just no way it can hurt you. Then I had this wet dream, and that was normal, too. And now today, Tony here is jiving me about penises being bigger or smaller, and it's just not true. As a matter of fact, a lot of the things you hear from kids isn't true. But people can tell you these things. You, you just gotta ask. That's what I did. I asked. And boy, am I glad, because now I feel normal again. Proud to know you, son. I wish I'd asked those questions when I was a boy. Terrific. That, that was great. Wonderful. <laughs> Hiya. My name is uh, Tony. I'm his best friend. Hi. Hi. <laughs> best friend, Tony. How are you? Hi. Tony's my name. I'm his uh, best friend, you know. <laughs> Susie, what are you doing here? Hi, Jimmy. Do you want to go to the movies with me? Well, I don't think so, Susie. I don't think I'm quite ready to go on a date yet. But what if we all went together? Okay. I would like to know more about that stuff you're talking about. Me too. Girls should know more about these things too. Yeah. Sure, guys. Anytime. How about you, Tony? 
Yeah, I know all about this stuff. I got this little brother, see, uh... He don't know anything, in it? But you could talk to him. I'll just, uh... Listen in. Just to make sure you don't make any mistakes. <laughs>